Frank Sartori, thanks for taking the time. Uh, long, long road trip. Ten days, four games. I don't know if it's a split because you won one, lost two, and then won another in a shootout, which isn't as many points as a regular win. How, what's your take? Well, my take is, first of all, it's a tough – anytime you go on the road, everybody's good in college hockey. And uh, it's hard to win – anywhere but it's really hard to win on the road and we went in and uh, we found a way to to beat this like this Mercier's team is really talented they can skate they got skill uh and we found a way uh to win that first game played pretty well second game had one of those stinker periods it got and the game got away from us and we lost uh we go into Canisius another the defending champions uh another uh team that's skilled and uh talented and skilled and uh and play well at home and uh, they beat us uh, uh, on the, on the uh, in the Friday night game. Uh, Saturday, uh, we come back and we're playing as well as we've played collectively the entire season. And uh, uh, they find a way to get a couple goals, which teams like that do. They've got opportunists, and they you know you you, you let your guard down, and, and they just find a way to connect on a on a line rush offense or those types of situations. They didn't get one on the power play, but th- th- those skillful teams have that. And anyway, uh, so we're down we're down two to nothing, and we're playing well. It's late in the third period, and uh, it just doesn't feel right. Doesn't feel good because you're chasing the scoreboard the entire time. But I, I look up at the shots, and the shots are are 39 to 14. Uh, in the game, and and uh, so our guys are controlling everything that they can control, and we talked to them, Brian, about you know uh, about uh, embracing the struggle because at times in, in games there's going to be they're going to ebb and flow. You're going to have your times where you got them on your heels. They're going to have their times where they have you on your heels. You've got to embrace that struggle, and it, and the game is 60 minutes, sometimes 65, sometimes it even goes into a shootout, and you have. To, have to embrace that, and if you do, um, if you do that, and 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 you play well, and you win the majority of shifts, you know more times than not, uh, you're going to come out on the right side. And here's a game where nothing's going right for us, um, and we're down two to nothing, and we get a power play uh, with six minutes left, and we get a two-man advantage, and our best guys find a way to get a goal. Okay, two to one, bang. Okay, we're back in the ball game. It uh, goes all the way down to the last minute. We pull our goalie and we, we connect on a hail mary, and uh, uh, and and we tie the game two to two. Then we go into a shootout, and it goes to the very last, the third shot. We score on the third shot. Blessing makes the save on them on the third shot. We don't lead in that game until the last game, the last shot in in, in the shootout. So you're asking me going back, was it a successful weekend? I think the way it played out. We had a, got a legit win. We had a loss that we had a stinker period. We got beat on, on, on Friday. We came back with our back against the wall and down two goals late in the game, and we find a way not just to, to, to tie the game and get a point, but we also find a way to, to get the, with the momentum that we got. I really believe the momentum uh, was on our side and enabled us to get two of the three points. So, like, I really feel good about it. I mean, I might be feeling better. I, I might not be feeling as good about it had we given up a two-goal lead in that, in that final game. But the way things played out, uh, uh, we battled. We ended up uh, collectively playing our best hockey in the fourth game of the series, and uh, and and we won a game that we deserved to win, but very easily could have lost. Yeah, absolutely. Now you have Bentley coming in here, another conference series at home, kind of the final conference series of the first half, so to speak. How do you attack this one? What do you want to see your team do better? You know what? Uh, that collective hunger. Uh, that inner fuel collectively, we need to see it. You know what? I don't worry about our team when we're playing Denver. They know they better be ready to play Denver. They're going to be at their best because if they don't, Denver's going to hang 10 on you. You know, um, I don't worry about it when we've lost two games in a row or three games in a row. Our backs are against the wall and they're going to show up. You know, to me, Friday night, Bentley, right now, unless some things change, you know, uh, we had great success on, uh, on Saturday and that win coming back, playing a great game, you know, the last thing we can do is sit back and relax. If it does, that Friday game against Bentley becomes a trap game. And um, so the message today uh, with the team is, you know, great job. You earned that victory on Saturday. But don't let your guard down because if you do, you're going to get punched in the nose on Friday night. Yeah. Bentley, just as skilled as these other teams you just came off playing, Mercyhurst and Canisius, what are they bringing in here? Everybody's got 
everybody's old, everybody's deep, everybody's got good players, you know. And in our league, there's not a lot. There's a few great players, but mostly just good to very good, experienced, uh, battle-hardened, you know, uh, type players. And Bentley is is no different. They got a good goalie. Um, They're finding success. They're around 500. They're kind of about where we are right now. And um, there's just not going to be a team that comes in that if you're not uh, – playing your best if you're not on your best uh at your best um you're gonna get you're gonna get knocked off unless your goalie steals one for you or something like that bottom line is uh you know what is bentley you know, like hey you better respect them are they beatable yeah they're beatable but they're plenty capable of beating us too uh we need to have we better respect them we better be ready for them and uh and if uh, and if we don't we're going to get knocked off if we do i like our chances Frank, thanks for the time. Appreciate it. My pleasure.